going to discuss uh, the product attributes of Magento 2. Product attributes is very important part. Often e-commerce setup and most of the people find it trickier to set up the attributes. But Magento 2 it has one of the best management facilities for managing the attributes as compared to other e-commerce platforms. For a simple instance, if you are selling some sort of a clothing like pullover, the attributes that will be associated with the product that will be the color, the style, the size, the material, and etc. Now, let's have the live example and look over the attributes of the products on the front end. Okay. Example I'm here going to take is of Montana wind jacket. The attributes associated here is SQ, the stock keeping unit. Then we're going to the color. And there's a size, having so many options, this small, extra small, medium and all. Then going below, we are having details, uh, giving you the product description. Then more information, telling you about the style, material, the pattern, climate, etc. Magento 2, guys, we are having some predefined attributes like name, price, description, which can be used for any of the product. And in combination with these, you can create new custom attributes for your clients as per their choice. And we are going to see just that how we are going to do that. Here, you see the dashboard for the website admin. Under the stores thing, you are going to go to the attribute section and then fetch this product. And then you'll be able to see the screen which is showing you the list of all currently available product attributes. In order to configure any new attribute, you have to click this right above button, add new attribute. Okay. Now we're going to discuss how we configure these attributes. And for that example, I'm going to take this off color. Now here you can see the screen is showing you the properties which is helping this attribute to get configured. First this is a default label. It is the name of the label of the attribute you are going to give or which is color in this case. And the store language which is used is English. Okay. Then we are having catalog input type. Now this is what? Now this is giving you leverage that you can either give the thing either in drop down, the text swatch or visual swatch. The selected case here is of visual swatch. You can see so many colors for your product. Now what if you want to specify one more color? You have to go to the add swatch button. Click here. Here you cut the swatch and you have to define one color. You have to go here and choose a color. And you can define any of the color of your choice for your product. Okay. Then going to the values required. You want the values, or these are the values, these are called black, red, green. They are the colors values. You want that values required to be on the front end of your product to be shown. Along with the product preview, you have to select them yes or no accordingly. Okay. Here, I'll show you. Like here, when we were, you know, discussing the Montana wind jacket, we had this color showing the three values, not showing all the values. Okay. Then, I want this to be shown as black. That will be a product preview thing. Here, yeah. so that will be shown in black. You want to show it in green? That will be shown in green. So this is what we say: the product preview for your image. Okay. It's taking time to get selected. No worries. Yeah, now it is aged. Now let's get back to the main screen. Now here we have having advanced attribute properties. Under advanced attribute properties, the first thing is attribute code. This is the name of the attribute which is you're going to use for your system. Okay. Then we are having the scope. Scope. No, scope is what? Now this is the visibility of the attribute at the different levels. Now you want to restrict the attribute of this color to be the particular website you want to show it on a UK website but you don't want to show it you want to hide it from a US website you have to select a website from here okay and if you want to go for uh, you know this visibility to be shown for all the websites all the store views you have to select global which is already selected here okay 
then going to the input validation for the store owner this is validating the data before you're applying the changes for the attribute okay and then going to the add to column options using filter options these are when you are getting selecting them you are uh, showing the changes you can uh, you know show the changes for the product on the front page like I'm gonna show you here you see this is the filters which we used for the color you know you want to use them or not you can select from there then going to the main screen again we are shifting to manage labels now this is what this is managing the language of your attribute which is here I have mentioned earlier also that is English but in case of your multilingual stores you can add as many languages you want like Spanish German French as per the requirement okay going to the storefront properties these are the additional properties which are making you know your attribute to interact with different things on the front end right going here using search you want this uh, attribute color attribute to be used as a keyword in the search box on the front page yes or no okay you can select yes or no from here okay like here then we can see okay I've selected white here already for you so everything in white will be displayed here you know this white hoodie the white jacket after that when we are shifting main screen again next thing is you want to show that comparable on storefront right you want the thing to be comparable on the storefront in that sense you want to compare two or maybe three or four a maximum um, any you know your choice is up to you you can select two or more different products and can compare them on their particular attribute I've given an example here see this is like a t-shirt a hoodie a jacket okay and I'm comparing them but I haven't selected the color attribute to be yes so you cannot see the color attribute here right but if I select yes then you'll be able to see that okay now when you move to this used in layered navigation you can see this it is coming in a layer you know these are called layered navigation of the style size climate color material it's coming in a layer right then you'll be getting the position option must be there yes the position option you can see here you want to define whether it should be on the one two three four it will arrange it accordingly okay and most of the options are they are self-explanatory but still if you find something fussy you are not able to understand that you can easily reach us and we will be available for you all the time at their metric.help at the metrictech.net okay going back to the section here we are having use for the promo role condition this is like defining the attribute into the promo code which you are using for the special offers or discounts or something okay then we are moving to like use for the sorting and the product listing when you see a product you see here the sort option right when you select yes or no accordingly you can see that attribute here right so this is the way we all you know added save the product various product attributes okay so in the case of size also only the dimensions have to be mentioned like here we have mentioned like you know excess is like extra small small medium large etc rest of the things will be same as discussed with the color attribute so just it's the time to go explore your magenta store with configuration of the new attributes and what else well you can ask your queries to us at metric.help at the rate of metrictech.net let your magenta store to act as magnet to attract the customers with our magenta help have a great time take care